Praise the Lord. Once again, I welcome you to the voice of destiny, inspiring your moment and speaking to your life. I am Chris Emmanuel. On this broadcast today, permit me by the help of the Spirit to speak about your life and to speak God's word into your situation. God sent me to announce to you that the year 2024 is going to be a great year for you, beloved. And in our teaching series, which I started, I will be continuing today on towards a greater 2024. Friends, everything that begins with God will end great. And everything that God is involved with, the devil cannot destroy. Your life is God's project. Satan cannot destroy it. I'd like you not to look at the challenges around you right now and begin to feel that there's nothing more that can come out of your life. God sent me in particular to announce to somebody listening to these brokers, I can make great things happen with your life. I can make greatness come out of your life. Right now, people would have written you off, given up on you. But God sent me to announce to you in this broadcast, I am writing your story and I'm changing your life for the better. But permit me to speak to you God's word today on one fundamental force you need to engage in order to have a greater 2024. Today, I'll be talking about the power of focus in having a greater 2024. In Matthew chapter 6, uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 26, sorry, Proverbs 4, 26, it says, look straight ahead. Fix your eyes on what lies before you. Look straight ahead. Fix your eyes on what lies before you. I don't care what has happened in your past. God is asking me to tell you via his word today. Look straight ahead. Fix your eyes what lies before you. Stop looking at what has happened behind you. Those who will not give up on their past will pass away with their past. Your past is past. Don't look that way. You are not traveling in that direction. The future is before you. Put your gaze on your future. Somebody hearing me this day, I'd like you to understand that until you begin to focus on the future and forget your past, you will not see a way into the future. You need to focus on the future and forget your past for you to find the way to your future. You have been thinking of your losses. You have been thinking of the failures. That's why you are stuck where you are. One of the destiny forces that propel men for progress in any endeavor is the force of focus. Until you are focused, you cannot see the path to which you are going to. I'd like you to understand that until you can see where you are going to from where you are, you cannot arrive there. Focus is setting the end before your eyes and determined to get to where you are ordained to go. Now, beloved, stop getting distracted in your journeys. Stop listening to naysayers. Stop listening to the negativity that are occurring in your heart. God sent me to tell you this day, focus on your dreams. Focus on your vision. Focus on the things I've told you. Stop allowing anything break your focus. If 2024 will be a great year for you, then beloved, you must take your eyes away from every other thing. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, who for the joy that was set before him, despised the cross, endured the shame. Right now, people will be snaring at you, mocking at you, but God is asking you, do not mind your mockers. They are only singing the song that will announce you in the future. Somebody hearing me right now, it is high time for you to focus on what you are pursuing this year. It's our time to ignore the mockeries of men and start up that business again. Those who start small with God have the tendency to grow great with him. Everything with God starts small with capacity to grow great. So don't despise the day of your little beginning. Because of what men are saying around you, God asked me to tell you, focus on your work this year. Focus on getting better this year. Focus on the prophecy spoken to you this year. Stop getting distracted by the noises of men, by the news of the things that are happening in and around you. This day, I am asked to announce to you that success will not come until there's maximum concentration. Success is only attracted to a man of maximum concentration. If you cannot overcome distraction, 
then you cannot be a man of success. If you cannot overcome distraction, then you cannot overcome distraction. Whatever crushes your focus has cut you off from finishing. It's not enough to start a race. The one who starts the race is not crowned the winner of the race. It doesn't matter how well you start. You must be determined to finish the race well for you to be crowned the winner. Focus is the power for a strong finish. 2024 just began. I'd like somebody right now to see till the end of December. See yourself running through January successfully. See yourself running through February successfully. See yourself in June accomplishing great things. See yourself in September doing the things you have planned to do. See yourself in December thanking God for all that he has done. A man of focus sees the end from the beginning and is so determined not to allow anything take him out of the path. One of the strategies Satan uses to kill men from following their dreams and accomplishing it is the spirit of discouragement. I like somebody hearing me today fight against the spirit of discouragement this year. You could start strong, but along the line, Satan tell you your results are not good enough. People tell you oh, with all that you have done, look at what life is giving to you. I like you to understand they don't announce the winner of a race in the middle of a race the winner is announced at the end of the race so refuse any spirit of discouragement refuse any spirit of weariness this year refuse any spirit of burning out this year the blessings of the lord is to take you from the beginning to the end your life is ordained to get to the end gloriously at the end the Bible says you shall speak. So whatever end you have believed God for the year 2024, I'd like you not to lose sight of it. Hold the picture of the future you have desired for 2024 in your eyes. Wake up every morning making your heart believe the things you saw about the year 2024. If you can keep your focus, you will arrive at your destination. If you lose your focus, you will be missed on the way you will lost your journey and lose your path i like you to understand never jump out of your lane in destiny there's something special about what god is doing with you you are a special breed on the face of the earth don't jump out of your lane into another person's lane destiny is a race of individuality don't get out of your lane those who do something special do it all alone be a man of focus. Let nothing break your focus this year, 2024. Start small. Keep growing. Keep growing. The more you press on, the more God's grace is released upon you. This race is for those who will press on to the end. The race of life is for those who will press on to the end. Don't start in January and by March you're already giving up. That's not the will of God for your life. He that endures to the end shall be saved. The prophecy of God for your life is from January to December. So if you didn't see it in January, hold on strong till June. Hold on strong till December because at the end it shall speak. Whatever will break your focus this year, I cause them to be taken out of your sight. You won't fail in your pursuit this year but i like you to understand it is only god that can keep a man focused by the help of the spirit many things around you may try to dissuade you push your eyes away from what god has said or push your eyes away from what you are pursuing but i like you those who keep their eyes on god are never distracted by what men are doing. Those who keep their eyes fixed on God are not distracted by what the devil is saying. Those who keep their eyes fixed on God will always get to the end. And the end of God for every one of us is glory. You will finish strong this year. You won't lose sight of where God is taking you to. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Another measure Holy Ghost, another 1,000 Another measure